Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, where you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our Arai helmet sizing guide and brand overview at Revzilla.com. Now in front of me, I have the six main families of Arai helmets. As you'll know on our website, there are a few more here, but these are the key ones that really kind of give you the overview and a lot of great starting points within this family of super premium helmets. In this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the Arai history. I'm gonna definitely delve into the why behind each one of these six helmets, what the specific use case for those is or why you should gravitate toward them. But the first and one of the most important things I wanna give you is really the sizing breakdown. How do you measure yourself for buying a helmet online? What's the easy way to do it? And it's very simple and you see me do this in other videos. I have Peter to my left, Peter come in. What you need is either a piece of string or a tailor's soft tape. This is Peter. Peter's an intermediate oval head shape. Notice he's like buying a little bit longer front to back. So keep that in mind when we walk through these helmets. So I'm gonna turn Peter away from me. What I wanna do is I wanna take my soft tape. I'm gonna have the person I'm measuring put it just above their eyebrows, come around, bring it together. Peter, I know that your head's a 23 head. And you're just gonna go back to the size chart. Thanks, Peter. What you wanna remember is the helmet should be, be snug. It'll break in about 10%. And the day you buy it, it shouldn't be easy on, easy off. If it is, it's too big. And there's some crazy stat that 50% of people are wearing a helmet that's too big for them. So keep that in mind. Also remember, there's a detailed breakdown video for every one of the helmets I have in front of me. So I'm gonna go really fast, give you the nuances, but you wanna watch those full detailed breakdowns that we have at Revzilla.com. So, scaling back to the helmets, I have a Vector 2, I have a Signet Q, I have an RXQ, Corsair 5, XD4, and the new CTZ helmet from Arai. You have to remember that all of these helmets are built to a safety spec, they're all DOT as well as Snell rated, and what I love about Arai, who's been around for 50 years, is they've always said, Mr. Arai, the first generation of the three generations running this company, he said, if your, if your name, if your family name was on the front of your product, how many corners would you cut? And that's the beauty of the Arai. They don't build to a price point, they build to a spec. And that's why when you think about the R&D and the level of investment, that's why these helmets cost what they cost, within a lot of instances is north of $400. And if you really think of the professional racer scene, I'll tell you what I know. And this may be refuted, but there are very few people, if any, right now being paid to wear an Arai helmet, even at the top level. This is a Nikki Hayden replica here in the Corsair 5. Arai helmets are either given, but in a lot of cases by professional racers, bought from Arai to be worn because this helmet has a level of respect and a level of quality that we don't see in the industry from nearly anyone else. They even make a $4,000 carbon fiber helmet. That said, remember, there's a 50-year history that you're getting with these, and watch these detail breakdowns. Let's walk through the line really briefly, really quickly. First one on my right is the, the, the helmet, the Vector 2, which starts in that $400 range. Now the Vector 2 is by being able to have it be a little less expensive than its brother and you're less, using less exotic materials but you're still getting the same safety spec that you get on everything else. Intermediate oval head shape, I'm gonna pull it around to the front. This helmet can be worn by any rider in any position. This is this bad boy red, there are graphics and solids available as well. Dry, all these helmets have a dry cool, antimicrobial, antibacterial wicking liner that is removable. They don't use any chemicals. From the fog-free standpoint, all of them are engineered with vents, and vents at the bottom and what they call the free flow system, which is gonna extract carbon dioxide and moist air from your breath from the helmet. And really, they know that anti-fog coatings are inefficient because they break down. So that's the Vector 2. Intermediate oval head shape, should work for everybody. Tunable cheek pads, tunable comfort liner. Again, using the complex laminate construction in their base. This is, I don't wanna call anything a base model from Arai, but it's one of their more basic helmets. Moving up the line, we get more specific for application. You have two helmets that really should be some of the f from the same family next to each other. We have the Signet Q, and the RXQ. Now they're using the Super CLC construction. More exotic materials allow you to make a similarly safe helmet, but now in a lighter weight fashion. So again, you're investing in lightweight comfort nuance here. Key differences, Signet Q is the longest oval head shape front to back that Arai makes. It's five millimeters longer than the profile was, and the profile for the longest time was the longest, thinnest helmet on the market. That's the beauty of the Signet Q. The RXQ is the polar opposite. Same helmet guts. You can see the vent configuration, all of the things this helmet does so well, but it's an intermediate to neutral round shape. And it has temple pads that are removable five millimeter. So this is, if you have a bit more of a rounder head than that longer intermediate oval like I do, this is gonna be your best premium helmet from Arai to accommodate a little bit wider in the temple. This is the RXQ, graphics and solids available. Remember, super premium. And I'll tell you that 
not the Vector 2, but the Signet Q and the RXQ, and now moving to the Corsair 5, all have emergency cheek pad release systems as well. So if you're out cold on your bike, the EMT can pull those cheek pads so they can just slide the helmet off. Again, one of those nuances, it's a more specific helmet meant for a rider that's spending more time in gnarlier situations. Now we get into the Corsair 5. This is the helmet that I really feel like so many people talk about. This is actually an autographed Nikki Hayden replica. I think it's a 2011 MotoGP model. We just saw Nikki out at MotoGP a few weeks ago. But again, this helmet's specificity, it's using the Super CLC, or it's actually the SNC construction carbon fiber, other exotic materials, uber lightweight. This helmet is meant to be in this position or this position at all times. It even has an adjustable rear wing for downforce. Maximizes ventilation. It's not tuned for quiet because racers wear earplugs. But again, it uses so many of the features that we have seen tuned. They start with this helmet. All the R&D goes in to the Corsair 5. And the beauty of it is over time, all of that technology makes its way down the Arai lineup. But remember, we're at the top of the food chain, a north of $700 helmet that's built for specificity and performance in the tuck at speed on the racetrack. Intermediate oval head shape. So it should fit most people. This hip helmet fits me fine, and there's people that swear by this fit. It's not one of the extremes of these other two. And I really wouldn't call them extreme. The, the, the Signet Q is an extreme long, but the, the RX2, I can wear an RX2 with the, cheek, with the temple pads in as well. It fits great. Moving past that, now we have your XD4. Again, this is an Arai first. The first XD helmet from Arai, it's, it's really what started the dual sport revolution. This is a dirt helmet. The VX Pro is Arai's dirt helmet. I don't have it on the table. They've added a shield to it. They've made it stable. They've added vents. This is a on-road, off-road, aerodynamic helmet for, I always, thought, I always think KTM 990 Adventure or BMW GS when I think this helmet. And this is the high-vis version, which again, you can get in a lot of these helmets as well. You're not going to buff it. It's stable at speed. It has excellent venting, which is stole for, stolen from what they know on so many of their road helmets, but it's a crossover helmet. Emergency cheek pad release system. Again, using a lot of the same technologies. Intermediate oval head shape on the XD4 from Arai using the facial contour system and so many of the other technologies I talked about. And last but not least, now we get into the open face lineup. This is the CTZ. There's also the XC helmet, some other open faces. This is the most technical and protective open face we see on the market from anybody right now. Again, you have an open face that's north of $500. It's Snell rated. Look, it's, it's a solid three quarter here without being a complete chin bar. Fully removable liner, fully removable cheek pads. You have the same venting scheme on the open face that you see on the Corsair 5 in the horseshoe. Again, for the adult, sophisticated, safety and ventilation focused touring rider who wants comfort. You have to remember a helmet's job is to protect you in that worst case scenario of going down. But a helmet's job, just like any other piece of riding apparel, is to not get in the way, to not make you think about it. You shouldn't be thinking about, I'm wearing a helmet. All of those things detract from focus, especially when you get onto the racetrack. So your helmet needs to perform, it needs to be balanced, it needs to be lightweight, ventilated, it shouldn't create any pressure points, it should fit you well while being snug enough to protect you in a crash. At the end of the day, it's an energy management system, and Arai's been doing energy management systems for motorcyclists for over 50 years from Japan. Last, last note on the quality of the Arai, and I'm an Arai guy as well. I have a Corsair 5, I have an XD4, my wife wears an RXQ, it's our second helmet, it's always my two-up helmet. It's just a solid helmet that fits so many people so, so well. I'll say this, a lot of helmet manufacturers have a QC process in their factories. They'll pull random samples, samples every 50, every 100 helmets. Every single Arai helmet is made by hand. Every single Arai helmet goes through a three-stage quality control process. So when you also think about the scarcity, Arai helmets come and go. They come into stock, out of stock throughout the season. They can only produce so many Arai helmets in a season, so keep that in mind. And that is because they're doing so many things to make sure they, ins they ensure the top quality, or the quality lives up to that Arai standard because at the end of the day, Mr. Arai's name and his family name is on the front of these helmets. I know I sound like a little bit of a fanboy, but tried and true, people that live in this industry, people that ride motorcycles, um, I think you're pretty hard pressed to find somebody that's gonna challenge a lot of what I've said here today. So keep that in mind. Remember, we have a full detailed breakdown video on every single one of the Arai helmets within the line at RevZilla.com. And surely, if you wanna debate the merit of any of these, if you wanna call us, if you're not sure which one's perfect for your riding style, because so many of these cross over, and so many of these can be worn by different, slightly different head shapes, shoot us a line. 
online, see us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. I would love to hear your opinion on a ride. I know there's a huge contingent of you, including myself out there, that are riding in these helmets. Leave us your comments on our product page, but more importantly, I'd love to see your comments on our YouTube channel, RevZilla TV. Join our community, join the conversation, and you can always click right here, subscribe to us, stay up to date with the latest gear reviews that we're constantly rolling out at RevZilla.com. As always, it's a big purchase, but we ship for free, exchange for free, no restock if you need to send it back to us and get earned teams a little cash on any purchase to be applied to your next purchase. It's over 100 bucks, and we save you money in the long run. Find the Arai line of helmets at RevZilla.com slash Arai. Remember, we are the number one Arai dealer in North America. We've earned that spot by helping you guys figure out the best Arai to suit your needs. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.